strutting. Yeah, so obviously uh, there's at least two Duel of Dust there. We saw the Steward of Law, World Cup, and Jinsido. Oh, this is a World Cup deck, so hey, guys, <laughs> if you're if you're looking for some uh, scouting tech uh, for what Spain, Spain's going to run, this appears to be it. Have a look. So, um, oh, the, he's got the dueling Banzai, the Rising Stars guitar. Yes. Um, that's a nice little 1x. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what else you're going to really use there besides the like, Kafka characters. Oh, it's, 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 it's probably the deck that this goes in, right? Like, yeah. Crane loved this card. This um, card's like always a 5 plus military for Crane. Yeah, Balthus was <laughs> using uh, Dragon Tattoo. I think that's also a pretty reasonable one to use as well. If Dragon Tattoo has shown us anything over the last couple of weeks, it's that. Um, triggering duels twice is really fucking good. <laughs> SGB's on double policy debate. Yeah, sorry, triple policy debate. He is, yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, check that out. He's only got two duels to the death, so Pablo... Uh, I, mean, yeah, I mean, it was Pablo the end of the game, so it's, it's, it's pretty reasonable for him to have both of them at that point in time. Uh, yeah, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. And it's not like you're going like to play in any other situation, too, so... Is this Crane deck just sort of, like, something akin to what Eric could be running? It looks kind of Eric-y. Um, probably, I would say. Uh, Eric would probably choose not to run stuff like uh, Duel to the Death. Um, uh, he, he tends to shy away from things that are um, spiky in value. He likes to play stuff that's yeah, more okay. consistent, so... Uh, so this so, looks pretty consistent, other than the two duels for the deck. Like that's the only like. Well, he also card. has the, this, this game of Sedana here too. That's not, <laughs> it's not the the best card in the world. Uh, but sorry, defeat is good. Um, you know, I think this is another card that Eric would probably have run less of. But it's definitely yeah. You know, this this whole package is about um, bowing your your, your your opponent, um, but without using dual duel, training, which is odd. Yeah, that's a good point. He has this Kikita blade in here as well. <laughs> Like you could probably, you could probably drop the Kakita Blade, and the game of Sedane, and maybe a single story defeat to run three dualist trading in this deck's probably a little bit better, right? Um, maybe I don't know. I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to like you know dissect somebody's deck and say, oh well, this is shit, and you know this is this is. Awesome. Yeah, I, I, never, I never use that word. I never use that word. Mm -hmm. Right. So looking at it from the point of view of a ruthless, a ruthless deck efficientizer. Not a word. It's not a shit deck. It's actually, I think this deck's pretty fucking tight, to be honest. Yeah. I was training it there, though. So, I don't know. I mean, but this is this. I guess this is what he's he's presented with, and uh, we'll we'll go with that for for the time being. I don't I don't understand this Kakita blade exactly. Um, I guess it is there <laughs> for for uh, for Scorpion. <clears throat> But I can, you know, yeah. um, I think that otherwise uh, everything else seems pretty, pretty solid. What does the masterpiece painter do again? It's a pillow book. Uh, or okay. Artisan Academy. Hot, hot, raunchy pillow text. So um, this Luke character appears to be. Um, <laughs> our investigator Jason has, is, is looking into this right now. Uh, he is a, a U.S. player from Indiana, but he's he, hey! he, but he played in. But it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. Uh, it's oh, not the other league. Yeah. yeah, it's fine. Don't worry. It's not Bitmel. Just call him Bitmel. It's easier. Uh, uh, can I show the other? Well, game? Then, yeah. I, I, oh, it might be Luke Gregory actually. Yeah. Luke Gregory. Um, Luke Gregory, yeah, I, I've, I, uh, I know Luke Gregory, I, um, or at least I, I have played against him in my one time in Indiana. Stuff. So, kudos to him, I guess, for waking up at 4 o'clock in the morning to play in the, uh, <laughs> the EU event. And also be the, uh, last American standing. <laughs> I see. All right. I'm All right let's, let's 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 get demagogue list up here. Yeah, I'm trying to find it real quick. It's it's. Uh, Hammertron's linked it in the chat. There you go. He's made it easy for you. Has he? No, that's no. That's not. That's yeah. not the, the. That's not the deck. Oh, true. That's a Lotus Pavilion link. Yes. Right. That's the... <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's 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 just coming up to nine a.m. here. It's early. Okay. Yeah, I have it. Here you go. Thoughts haven't fully coalesced. 
into their final state for the day yet. All right, so uh, this deck uh, I talked about it a little bit earlier um, on stream, but uh, we'll talk about it again in more depth this time since we have some time to kill. Um, so this is Demagogue's deck. He has one Void Fist. <laughs> yeah, just the one Void Fist, um, which is kind of wild, honestly. Like, I, I feel like you could maybe fit some more in there. Um, maybe instead of like um, Mantra of Fire, I mean, Mantra of Fire obviously very important, but like you want cards that you can actually play in conflicts, right? And so uh, Void Fist kind of gets clogged down sometimes where you don't need to use it and you want something else to, to play instead. I don't know what this yeah. thing is here. I, I, this, uh, this Emperor is wild. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't think that the emperor is making the cut in the final version. Like, when do you ever have the money to play this emperor? Right? <laughs> yeah, um, that much is odd. And so I, I, I think that you know, um, we haven't seen him yet in uh, any of the matches that we've streamed so far. Uh, but obviously, the point of him is you know, this, this whole deck is centered around protecting Mitsu and like getting Mitsu or getting Yokuni uh, to copy Mitsu, and then going from there, right? Um, so That's the idea is that everybody else is. Hold on. Can you take? Can you take Hante? There we go. Thank you. Um, on he's not on finger of Joe. He's got his high house of light. Yeah. You know yeah. It's, it's it's interesting because I would have I would have said oh cut that formal invitation right away, but we literally just saw it win him a game. So maybe maybe not. That was, that was pretty blowout. Right. I mean, you absolutely need uh, more movement effects, and so formal invitation yeah. is the, you know the best thing you can do. Uh, with the limited amount of influence that you can get with uh, High House of Light. Don't forget this, this Stronghold only has 7 influence, so <laughs> you're working under some uh, some constraints here. I actually have no idea what you would cut to put in more Void Fest, because, uh, well, uh, unless, you, unless, unless it's Mantra of Fire, but well, then you're basically... You're here's here's the thing, right? So like, look at his Conflict deck. It's already at 41 cards. So. Yeah, exactly. So you need to first of all cut to 40, which is super hard, and then you would need to find more cuts for... The only thing is to get rid of Mantra of Fire, really, but then you're basically you're uh, you're taking away your Mitsu's lifespan a little bit because this game, this deck seems to be quite a long, grindy one to play. I've seen seen games regularly go past turn four, uh, so in those kind of games, you know, it is really good to have effects that put fate on your guy, especially when it's the guy that the entire deck is based around. So, like, the, a cool thing about Mantra Fire is it counts towards Mitsu's um, card count as well. Yes. So, it, it's kind of like uh, just shortening the the amount of cards you need to play to trigger his ring effect in your box, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, no idea what I would cut here for that mm -hmm. extra so, void fist. Maybe, Char maybe you just don't. Chat right now is shedding some, uh, some, some light on... Uh, our mystery Luke. Uh, it is not, in fact, the Luke from Indiana. This is a different person. Um, Jason, Jason, I think, pulled up someone else who just is signed up as Luke on um, on Lotus Pavilion. He may not, in bet. fact, it... have Lotus Pavilion results. So, you know, this guy is uh, quite a mystery. We can maybe yeah. talk to him a little bit after uh, after the facts. And in black, you have no idea who he is. He's just a mysterious being. Uh, Chopper Bear, the coolest mantra play I've ever seen was double mantra of fire onto Tadakatsu, followed by first action Void Fist in a conflict. It was sick. <laughs> that character had no idea what was happening to him. the seals in this deck dan do you care about seals so much uh they're free actions um and they go on your kuni right that's that's what you need them for yeah yeah i'm just thinking if you if your kuni's just there to be another mitsu you just copy he's just copying his action right what does mitsu's action say uh mitsu's action says you get to resolve uh, a ring effect after you play five cards yeah i guess i guess Guess what I'm asking is it is it absolutely essential that this Yakuni needs to be a monk? Yes, like, because you it, need it to, doesn't... he needs to be able to be targeted by Hurricane Punch. Right, but are you are you buying Yakuni without Mitsu kind of thing? 
I, I, I'm genuinely asking. Like, I haven't seen this deck. Yeah, like, I would say in, in some situations when you don't find Mitsu, you just need to play your Kuni as just like a tower, right? So right, you, need okay. to have an, uh, you need to have the monk stuff enabled for him. So like Sacred Sanctuary, mm -hmm. um, the Hurricane Punches, and the Void Fist. That way right, you can, right. um, you know, um, survive <laughs> until Mitsu comes out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you, yeah. It, it, surviving's really good in this game. <laughs> Yeah, in that case, you know, I've got no idea, Dan. I've literally no idea what I would cut for more Void Fist. I think you just have to, like... it's the, the conflict deck looks like it's at that point where... You're upgrading with cuts rather than upgrading. But I do like it. I might, I might actually take this deck out for a spin, to be honest. Sure. It's fun. And it's pretty cool, because the whole thing is just... Mitsu meditating, and then after he comes out of his meditation, he has so many revelations about the universe and shit that everything just kind of goes down, right? All right, so right now I'm just checking on. Oh, Mantra also has to be in a monk, right? Yeah, yeah, Mantra. Oh, and and High House, yeah, High House, of course. That's that's that's, that's the biggest one. So you need you need your queen to be. Uh, High houseable. Mm. Oh, I see. Because he can't even be targeted with the basic action if he's not a monk. <clears throat> it is weird how the leader of the monk family is not a monk himself. Uh, I mean, technically, he could be anything, right? And that's sort of his his shtick. Oh, he would be able to be anything if he could copy traits, but alas, he does I not mean, like, copy traits. I mean, like, from a lore perspective, right, like, he is everything? Right. From, from a lore perspective, he's been just a, a sort of a, the avatar of a god, right? Uh, perhaps. We don't know. That, that's his whole yeah. thing. <laughs> we, we actually it's, it's don't know. Highly insinuated that, that Takashi Yakuni is a god in mortal form. Highly insinuated. <laughs> Do you, uh, do you ever see the card of its old artwork where he looks like he's only ever eaten steroids in his entire life? I mean, he looks like that now, honestly. Like, he, he's... He, does, he does look quite roidy still, but like he looks really roidy. Yeah, he <laughs> he does. Like, look at his look at the def like the definition on his uh, <laughs> his his, uh, his shoulders. Like, it's just, like it, yeah, that, you don't get that kind that of definition guy. naturally. It's true all the day at the gym. That guy's been doing his fucking military overhead presses every day for his entire life. That guy kind of shoulder definition. <laughs> I fucking love Yukini though, he's such a cool character. He's he's still got to be one of the best five drops in the game, right? He's still got to be top five five drops. Uh, who Yukuni? Absolutely, I would yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. I would say he's definitely up there. I think both both maybe maybe all the Mitsus, both Mitsus maybe, and Yukuni. No, I think yeah, I think Mitsu won a hundred percent just because it's like hideously efficient. Mitsu two has like what you I guess the card people would say he has a. Lower floor, but higher ceiling, or something like that. Is that is that the expression? <laughs> yes. Yeah, ceiling is super high. Um, but I don't know if I would put him in my top five most powerful five drops in the game. I definitely put Yukuni and, and Old Mitsu in there, though. Yeah, I, I feel I feel like it, that's the same chopper bear. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look. I think one of the games is going up. It's not started yet. We won't start for another three minutes or so, but uh, we'll go ahead and hop in this game and just be ready for uh, Jinsido versus Demagogue. There's already a ton of people in here waiting to spectate. Uh, yeah, we got, got we got we got ten minutes till start. Yeah, though. Yeah. Uh, no. All right, three I might minutes, just... three minutes. Okay, no worries. All right, so uh, Jason pumping in the chat. Also, for those of you who are tuning in during this break. Um, this is a good time to announce that we will be doing another one of these uh, in 
I guess roughly two weeks. Two, one, two, three, three weeks, three weeks. In three weeks' time. Um, and uh, so if you guys did not sign up for this tournament and you were interested in participating for the next tournament, uh, please go ahead and sign. Uh, do so. Um, I think that the uh, tournament, uh, the, I guess the signups will probably be posted once we're done with all these. Uh, I'll just take this opportunity as well to give a big shout out to the developers of Jigoku, without which we would not be able to play this amazing game that we love so much. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Thank you so much um, to all the people in Jigoku who are um, putting in the work to keep this up and running so that we have a way to play L5R uh, while we're in quarantine and also just while we're at home and not wanting <laughs> to go out and socialize with other people or if we don't have other people to socialize with because you know, we live on Union, where the population is 3,000. <laughs> um, shout out to Dakin. Shout out um, to Dakin. The, the, the eternal yeah. reminder. Is he, is he on right now? Yeah. He might be. It's always great to have a little bit of... <laughs> of course he's on. No, he's not. No, he's not. Okay. Dakin rests for now. Yeah, so, <laughs> sleep is important, right? Um, so Jason's leaving to uh, to go cook dinner. He'll be back for the final. The final will be on Steel for stream, so I'll probably hop over to uh, to his stream at that point. Um, but uh, we will cover the semifinals here. Uh, let me go ahead and update the stream info while I'm thinking about it. Uh, this is top four. Uh, this is demagogue. Versus... Cito. Hey, Crane players, what's it like when you get policy debated? I guess playing. What's that feel like? Hello? Yes. Great. So, are you guys watching Jincito versus Demagogue? Yeah, it hasn't started yet, though. So, we're still waiting for them. Um, while we're while we're still waiting, also let me go ahead and take this time to uh, um, also say uh, if you click on that link that Jason put in the chat, uh, you also see that there is a space for uh, for donations. Uh, one of the things that we are doing for this is prize support, and you can take a look at the prizes um, at the link as well. We're going to be distributing those later in the year. Um, it is a little bit tougher to you know just to send stuff out currently, um, but as we uh, as we progress, uh, we'll be sending out some prizes. The prizes are custom promos. Um, that are being made by the London Legion, as well as some uh, our reserve stock of uh, official tournament promos. So if you guys are interested in that, um, obviously sign up and try to win them through this tournament. Uh, but if you guys are interested in supporting us in this endeavor, we're doing this all uh, free, or at least the London Legion guys are doing this all for free. Uh, you can spot them some donations if you want. The donation yeah. is at that link as well. So send them a couple I think, I think they yeah, it's a good shout there. You know, it's really lovely that we have members of the community that are willing to do this all off their own back. So, if you've participated in the tournament and you've enjoyed it, um, you know, uh, help support future events like this. I guess. Yeah, toss toss a coin to your streamer. Not not <laughs> me, coin. But... <laughs> toss a coin to your streamers. Yeah, pay us. Pay us for God's sake, <laughs> so we can quit our jobs and just do this full time. That would be fantastic <laughs> if I could just do this for for a living. Oh, you're, but, oh man, you're that is me. This is that's non a completely not sustainable. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just stream eight hours of Elf Bar every day. Yeah, I mean it'd be do fun it. for sure. Um, but it wouldn't. It certainly would not pay the bills whatsoever. Uh, huh. Horror group saying thank you for your commentary. Yes, th uh, thank you for tuning in. Um, and uh, hopefully this next match will be an enjoyable one for you to watch. It's true. Without you, the viewers at home, we're nothing. Without you, viewers at home, we're just two people in a room talking either to ourselves or between ourselves like a madman. Uh, so it's really There's good. There's people in this room. It had to be perceived as that. Um, wow, Christian is playing Kuan. Interesting. I wonder what's going to happen there. Do you think that's going to be a turn two concession or a turn one concession? <laughs> and it's anyone's guess at what point Kuan will concede. <laughs> but reasonably, it's fair to narrow your guesses down to one or two turns. <laughs> Thanks for the bit, Jasper. 
Alright, here we go. My emote is still pending right now, so I cannot use it. Where's your Actually, emote? I'm excited down. About, about this dragon filled top four. Hopefully, hopefully it's a dragon, yeah. dragon mirror. Yeah, do you remember like a week ago when you were like, I'm quitting dragon? Fuck it, I've had enough. Actually, do you remember that? <laughs> 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 I remember Those exact that. words. <laughs> You had a little strop, didn't you? And you're like, I'm gonna play Scorpion. And I was like, Oh god, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I, I I haven't been playing Scorpion when I've been uh, I've been using um, Phoenix, but I really hate the um, the bird deck. Yeah, I hate that. I hate that deck. So I think it's boring as fuck. Anyway, um, this is a interesting start for Demagog. We've got two Dooms Shrug Engers, and we've got this. Uh, this cunning boy, cunning negotiator out on Crane side. It doesn't really do much against the SOB. It only really works against um, Shameful. Yeah, I guess it just flips the Shameful back, right? It's actually pretty sweet on Shameful because you can Kikita Dojo it and then you get an honor from Kikita Dojo and an honor yeah. from Shameful. Yeah, it's true. That is good. <laughs> I feel like any card that can just turn off shameful display is pretty good. It's pretty good stats too. Yeah, his stats are really good. <laughs> really? Is that exactly what happened to you, Jasper? Because um, that's the only one he works on, right? In our row? Because it doesn't work on upholding or or um, resto. Okay, yeah. Ruffles it's like in an chat SBR. saying, uh, go Demo. Yeah, Demo, definitely a, a fan favorite. Um, yeah. I, a lot of uh, I, guess a, I guess he has a favorable ground, so it doesn't super matter here. Yeah, I don't like to take but this sides, is some bomb. but when I do, I always take the side of Demagog. <laughs> yeah, so Demagog like, is the people's champion. I think Crane are the second lamest faction behind Phoenix. I mean, just had that caveat there. Um, I actually would probably put them at uh, number one in my book. The lamest faction. I just can't get. I just don't like playing them. Um, I don't, like I don't always. Mind I don't like their mechanics. I don't like <laughs> anything about. <laughs> I don't mind them in the game. I just don't like playing them. Yeah. This shoot's not in the chat, otherwise I will never talk to him again. Yeah, that's true. Just shoots. Cut me off. See, this is this is kind of like the cool thing about Resto is that even if you don't make them discard like, you know, a huge chunk of cards, you do get them to just play really inefficiently. Yeah. You I know. Mean, like you do you really want to be putting all here. Here. like is that so bad? Um, yeah, Jin C doesn't like to mess around. He likes to fucking end the game quickly. I guess if you have a hand that's not the, like like this, it's fine to just break Resto now and get it over with. And then just yeah. keep on bidding. Yeah, I think that's fine. That's fine. And, you know, like, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an easy break, isn't it? Oh, this cunning just became swole. Hey, kitty. Hey, get your cat on the commentating. What's your cat's I'm name? Around? Minerva. Uh, I knew it would be something scholarly in ancient Greek. That's so you. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, just wait for it. The cat's called like Hannibal or something. <laughs> <laughs> it will be called Minerva. Hannibal. Fun fact about that: the um, the resource information database at my university was called Minerva. There you go. Oh, really? Like the on, the online library, like the digital library where you could like access all these fucking texts. Yeah, it's called Minerva. <clears throat> all right. So Doom Shigenja goes away. Arash, uh, sorry, Arash. Uh, Demagog keeps the the favorable ground. I think that's smart, right? Like, is if you yeah. hear if you flip a Mitsu here, you want to be able to bring him into multiple conflicts. The only thing that's slightly worrying about Demagogue's deck is if Mitsu gets shy and doesn't show up. I don't. It doesn't really do anything, right? Yeah. So. Um, no, I mean you also have your Kuni. Right. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> or this tranquil philosopher. 
Yeah, this is a pretty small good. Run, not... But I mean, yeah, it's really slow. You don't want to go like super behind early on here, and that's probably what's going to happen. Uh, I I think so too. I mean, luckily, luckily, a huge fit lead now, and you have so many more cards that when Mitsu does show up or Yukuni does show up, like you can just sort of like Out go ham on them. Yeah, you can just power through them. Um, but yeah, yeah, I mean, getting I, like losing the proving grounds here is actually not so fun either. Because uh, this is the they're kind of the draw. Like it, it basically the deck's coming out in the exactly the wrong order. This game, isn't it? You want to flip into yeah, yeah. your proving grounds later, not earlier. Um, exactly, yeah, I think yeah. I think I think his turn here is trying not to have two broken. Like if he has to and just spend just the rest of the game defending in your time to prevent one break for sure. Yeah, for sure. Although I would attack with this Mystic. I would attack Earth with this Mystic for sure. Um, although I mean, moves. Uh, fate from the Void Ring to the Earth Ring, so I feel I feel like you're going to get your wish here, Arash. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you, the, also the good thing is that you can just high house the Tranquil, and he's not going to get Return the Offense. He's not going to get Policy Debated. No, uh, no. He's not gonna this this to Mystic death. is though. This Mystic is. I guess he's just going to poke, and then he's going to immediately sack the Mystic to stop more than one duel, right? I don't know. I feel as though this defense by this Kakita Kazan defense. Kind of makes me think that he doesn't have the policy debate, because otherwise you just move in the cunning, yeah, you call yeah, that's true. and then you move it out, and then you're like, all right, go fuck. Yourself. Yeah, true. This is a bit of a tell. How does it feel bad, Jasper? I think you just want to prevent the. And oh, I, wow. I am not the. Oh, man, this Tranquil Philosopher has got to somehow hold down the fort. Jasper, you can be returned in um, in Paul or Mill. It doesn't matter. It's just a it's just a Paul duel. duel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't care about the Paul of uh, conflict type. Okay, he's changed his mind and he is indeed blocking with the with the cutting negotiator. So I think actually you just have to eat a bunch of jewels here because you just don't want to you don't want the favorite. Okay, so he does return the. No, no, because. Oh. I, uh, okay. I don't super love that, but okay. Okay, so I would one hundred percent sack. Because I would uh, sack the mystic now. That's what yeah. I mean. Yeah. Sack the mystic and stop myself getting like policy debated or all the other. That's exactly what happens. Yeah. Yeah. Does that return the offense is a little? I don't think he needs to do return the offense there. To be honest. I would have done a policy debate if I so, had one. If he doesn't have one, then obviously... Might have just drawn one. I'm guessing he didn't have one in hand at the start of that oh. conflict. Yeah, because that's an odd... Because he had the favorable ground. All right, then we Hopefully, see a big... Want him to hit the ball then. Yeah. This one you don't defend. You defend the Kazen one, I guess. Gonna Unless get... it's shame. It's a midnight. That's actually that's huge. So now you can nice defend with yeah, yeah. mantra yeah. fire. Okay, okay. okay I like this. Um, now I now I <laughs> defend. With no, the worst thing you want to happen here is getting dueled to the death. <laughs> it's just like, uh, so you, just, you just block with the you block with the tranquil and you high house, and they can't duel you. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's true. That is true. You totally block here, right? So well, maybe you don't care. No, he can. He I guess, can this character acquire, can this steward of law acquire four, three political skill? Uh, he's on fan, isn't he? He's on, he's on he's fan, on fan. fan doesn't have enough right. to, yeah, so I don't know, they, I, I think that you probably just, okay, so he is going to block. Uh, fair. He has a high house early, though. He has the high house right now, yeah, and he does, good. Yeah, he's does. Not, he's, okay. So then yeah, now you just, not now gonna... you just court games yourself. Well, you don't even have to court games yourself, but you can court games yourself if you want. You can also return like, the offense, I... honestly. Like, this wouldn't be a bad time to return I like the turn the offense here. I actually really like that. I think getting this Tranquil Potato honored is 
pretty fucking important. You can't you can't be holding down a board with a two two. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're you're safe from all the all the other shit, so you may as well. This is midnight. Midnight was actually pretty clutch here. Midnight actually is pretty good on the slow sort of starts that you have sometimes. Yeah, yeah. If you don't flip into one of your big guys, um, it's really good. It's just super dead when you when you do flip your big guys. So it's like the main point of this deck is to flip big guys. And okay, so he's gonna play court games, and I, I assume that he if he has a return to offense, this is fucking huge. Yeah, court games uh, to honor. So basically, he's now he's now matching honor tokens with Jin uh, Cito, which is great because cancels have now been turned off. So now he can safely use return the offense if he has it. Yeah. you discard both or one of these Proving Grounds for the next turn? I would discard one of them. Yeah. I'd probably discard the one on the Midnight Rebels. Yeah. Do we, and we don't know what the other one is. Like, re you mean returning the Steward is a good idea with Favorable? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. Or like if he did it right now. Training. Okay, so then this oh, he is just wants to draw. He just wants to draw Dude. cards, right? Well, and also just invalidate this. Um, he can also then hawk tattoo and duelist training. Oh no, he can't. Um, Dude, there's so many, so much card draw from this one duelist training. Holy yeah. fuck! Yeah, this is huge. You get two cards. From it. A cool combination with duelists. Not that you would need to do this, but no, if you're I mean, this makes, makes a lot of sense to just. Get the fuck out with the with Steward of Law because you you just yeah. know what's gonna happen. Yeah, so at least now um, he has to duel. He has to put like a sword or something on this tranquil potato. Uh, Christian, I agree. Uh, Proving grounds in the right deck is actually just really fucking Same. good. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So then he actually did. I mean, as Jinsido, do you run into potentially upholding? Or do you just break the Midnight Rebels? I think you just break the Midnight Rebels. Yeah, you go for the Rebels for sure and just take the, oh, the easy way. M. Dice Show was just a fucking plague. It was the actual pandemic. Um, Mary Moto's Dice Show should never have existed. That card was just pure toxicity. Yeah. Um, so I think we're going to see Hawk Tattoo here, right? Well, you can also just let... You can also just let this break. Like... I I, now he has I, to I like defending here for sure. Um, yeah, I don't think it's bad. Yeah, for sure. You do okay. get the draws. Okay, so he does have that too. Okay. Yeah, no, you want to you want to get two cards at the very least, and if you can I stop like this a. Today. This is a good. Yeah, this is sick. <laughs> <laughs> this is so <laughs> dope. <laughs> that that. Monk is so rapid that it can debate fast in the steward of law. Oh, and he able. hits the win. Good, good, good. Oh, and he does have a duel to the death. Um, but, so I guess you just, will... yeah, honestly, you probably just get rid of the duel to the death. Yeah, 100%. Plus you... Like, you're not getting policy debated here, are you? So just kill the, no, kill the duel to the death. Um, yeah. But yep. you've, got, you've got to kill that duel to the death. Well, the only awkward thing is that then he's going to probably just bonsai the Kazen and break this anyway because you can't. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter. Though. Then you're, you can't. You're just gonna you're just, training. Well, you're just duelist training the the steward, right? For two cards, yeah. Yeah, he just yeah. So he just gets like this conflict is basically you see his hand and draw two cards. And it looks make like him it kind of looks like he's thinking about taking the bonsai. Like that's <clears throat> that's what I would assume. Either the you know the bonsais or, I mean, this is a good hand from Jinsido. If, if he if he if he takes the bonsai, then he has to commit to winning the duel to the death, which is fine. Yeah, he can. Uh, that, yeah. That's actually a that's actually a oh. fine line. As the two new names, he goes up to five. Then he gets honored. Oh, for shame. Oh yeah. Okay, I mean, I think that's fine. Do you think he has ways of living through the duel to the death? I mean, he can he can just 
go to can just get rid of his honor token. Get rid of the honor token. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's that. That's something you can do entirely. Can okay. Just get aggressively into this duel to the death and kill whoever's dueling him, right? Yeah, he's like, he has, I mean, he's not gonna do it raw though. He's not just gonna do it for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's not gonna raw dog. Do it raw. Uh, he's, not, yeah. he's not gonna bear back this duel to the death, all right? <laughs> Listen, sometimes <laughs> you just gotta bear back a duel to the death. I don't know what to yeah, tell you. <laughs> Them's the breaks, as they say in show business. That's, Desperate times. <laughs> yeah, Jin Zio has run into a bit of a wall here. I can't believe this Tranquil Philosopher is successfully holding down the fort. My Tranquil Philosophers, by the way, Tranquil. never fucking do this. My Tranquil Philosophers fucking hate me. Yeah, well, I, I, um, I, I, think, I think that's more of a <laughs> they only show up. They only show up when I'm fighting, when I'm playing against Shagatai uh, first turn charge. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that is not a situation you want to see Tranquil Potato in. <laughs> yeah. You're just like, cool. God damn it. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> cool, I can cool, cool, this. cool, cool, cool. <laughs> like this. I mean, I feel as though this is a pretty commanding start for... Um... Yeah, it's a really commanding start. And he just bids one here. He draws... Okay, Banzai on the Stewie. <laughs> I think that's fine. Um, would you defend your honor this? I'd consider it. I, I, I really, really like defend your honoring Banzai, especially if my first action is Banzai on defense. You could also uh, just I mean, a, a void fist him if you really care, but I don't think that you do. Yeah, and anyway, he's not going to be able to win a duel. No, there's no way he can beat this guy. This guy this Tranquil Potato's got two katanas on him now. No, this Tranquil Potato is actually the new Mitsu. Yeah, I feel like it's getting quite swole. Um, it's a little dangerous because now your Mitsu is just not going to get that big. Yeah, but, I mean, you just stick the Mitsu into the conflict with the Tranquil Potato? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, so he actually saves his Defender Honors for the let goes, which uh, is pretty good in this matchup, to be H. I feel like it could have just all been avoided if he just defended your honor the first uh, bonsai, though. Yeah, I think I probably would have done. I mean, I no, know, I, I, I could. That, that 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 play is a long game play, right? He's just like, cool. Your attachment control is not going to do anything, and that just means I can get my massive fucking tranquil potato into every conflict and not have to worry about it. Bearing uh, to steal an honor there. So Demagogue just drew like a whole fucking bunch of cards there. And he just drew basically every card, right? He's gone through yeah. 20 cards now. Yeah, so he gets rid of a proving ground. As as predicted. Well, because you just yeah, that's need, fine. need Yukuni or Mitsu now, or you're kind of fucked. Yeah. Okay, he does not uh, get both. Well, I would actually probably he's season getting... a warrior. He's in here as well. Slightly yeah, awkward, but he doesn't... He does Tadakatsu, right, okay. And just like <laughs> that, things get weird. <laughs> I think that, like, this Tranquil can survive for a while. Yeah, um, I know. <clears throat> but he's already played one Mantra Fire. I think they only have... No, he's played he two played Mantra two, Fire. He played two. He played two. Yeah. It's not really doing much. Jinsido runs at least two Duel to the Death. Yeah, it is really dumb. I do it not is, like Tadakatsu. Ah, oh, man. I swear I'm the only person that likes Tadakatsu. Tadakatsu's so good. Uh, I would also swear that. You are the only person who likes Tadakatsu. I just don't get how you can't like a guy that references Ant. There's flavor text. The Ant and the Beetle are equal beneath the sun. Okay, I mean, I actually, I mean, I like the flavor of Tadakatsu. I like that he's a heretic. Heretic. Well, Jasper just likes him because of he likes him with DOP. That's pretty fun. Um, <laughs> right, so this is upholding authority. It's got to be. Yep. <laughs> I called that. 
Yeah, so, so you, just, you just eat this and call it a day, right? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I mean, I would probably defend with a Tranquil, duel some shit, get, draw, draw the two cards that you're going to, and then just favorable ground out, potentially. That also a play. Or not but defend, that's might... also fine. I just think you give like zero fucks about this breaking. <laughs> this is a really good time if you're upholding authority to break. Yeah, I guess my priority level here now is he's used two return to offenses. Um, oh, he threw one out through rest to resto. That's awkward. Um, yeah, I would move this Tadakatsu out because I don't give a fuck. Um, yeah, I guess you. Pri I mean, you still prioritize voice of honor, right? Oh yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or do, you, or do you get rid of duel to the death? That's how many duels to death there are. Yeah. I, would, I, I wonder I how would many... Probably... probably what? I, just, I, might, I would consider hitting the... If he's got... Because I saw a second let go in there. If he drew up into a third let go, I'd consider hitting that as well. That would be, um, pretty, that'd be pretty GG, actually. Yeah, that'd be pretty sweet at that point because then your opponent can't interact oh, with all of your turns. Oh well, that's uh, that's the hit, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that is it. you just got rid of both of these policy debates, and it's like, cool. I got policy debate. You don't get wrecked. It's not a particularly winning hand there, all things considered. And it's not awful. It's not awful, it's just not going to do anything against this Tranquil Potato. <laughs> yeah, 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 this Tranquil Potato is just going to chug along. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, Demagogue is just like, well, I guess fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess fuck everything. <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> sometimes life gives Thanks. you, sometimes it gives you Tranquil, and it's up to you to put all your attachments on it. I like bad cards, Christian. I like fun cards. Countryside trader, trading in the countryside. <laughs> Christian only took that card out of his deck to spite me, BTW. I also, I don't blame Christian. This is the awkward thing now, if you're Crane. Either you like, are like, oh man, I gotta block and try and save my provinces. And then, oh, like, get dueled a million it. times. <laughs> or you just fucking, like, oh, I guess I'm losing, I guess I'm losing a province. Oh, I think that it's worse to block here than it is to not block, right? It's super bad for him to block here. But it's also um, kind of awkward losing pilgrimage to unopposed military. I wonder if um, Tranquil Philosopher, if he has a formal invitation. Because he could just formal invitation in and wreck this cunning negotiator. He could also... Uh, Hawk tattoo in as well. <laughs> he has more uh, yeah, of those. The formal invitation at least is is easy. Yeah, formal formal's pretty sweet. I got to play this deck, man. This deck looks super fun. I have no idea like what I'd be doing, but it looks really fun. Yeah. Oh, this is awkward. He has to attack Shameful because he can't attack Rebels. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, is completely right. Although cutting negoti negotiator. Kind of negotiator is actually pretty okay against Shameful. Yeah, because he can tap. He can do the dual tap thing. Uh, yeah, yeah. He can do the. He can. He can SB. He, he can um, Shameful his way up. He can um, go his get his way up. To... He could actually reasonably break the Shameful now. Yeah, it's actually not awful. But I mean, uh, he's gonna he's gonna go back to being an eight versus. Yeah, I think he's gonna break the Shameful now. I think I think we'll see the Shameful. I guess you wanna you wanna give him the choice between fire and I'll probably formal invite in and then just uh, duelist training him. I'm like whatever, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, that that works. Otherwise, um, otherwise this shameful is gonna get broken. I don't love this play with Tadakatsu. Uh, Anil just woke up. <laughs> Anil, oh, is that why he lost his first round? Yes. Okay, I was wondering about that. Did he not play? No, he was. No, he, he's, he, he, just, he just woke up. A lull. The bed won that round. Okay. Uh, 
So this Tadakatsu is now a heretical bougie monk courtier. There you go. Happy days. The fact that he's a heretic, that speaks to my soul a little bit. I feel like the word is not pronounced heretic, but I'll let it's you know. It's not pronounced. It's, it's heretic. It's, <laughs> it's, not, it's not erratic. It's not erratic. We're saying heretic. A lot of heretics are erratic. You... Yeah, but I mean, that's not, that's not, the, that's not the point here. Um, do you think hey. that he's just omitting him into the um, into the duel to the death here, just like waiting until he buffs up, and then just high housing and being like, "Well, go fuck yourself." Did this thing even win a duel to the death, though. I mean, it's... I think he's just gonna get void fisted here. Yeah, that's uh, probably true. Although he has a voice of honor, so you need two vo void fists. He doesn't have two void fists. He has one in the entire deck, which we were agonizing over earlier. Oh, he has two. I thought. No, he has one. Nah, it's just one single Lady okay. Void Fist, uh, which okay, is going to so get cancelled, he... and there it is. Oh, so then he has the Defender. So know... Yeah, yeah, Christian is right, he has the Defender. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, that's got to be it. Voice of Honor, right? No, he yeah. doesn't, he just straight up forgot that he had a voice? Uh, no, right. I feel like he's just getting him to getting him to do the shit, right? Like, Demagogue is, yeah, is, is got, has got 14 cards in hand, he's got to be able to stop this conflict. Yeah. Okay. That. Okay. And then Cunning Negotiator just going to go right back to being honored again. I agree with you, Mike. But it, it's like, it just feels bad. Use your only okay, so there is a formal invitation. Okay, yeah, here we go. He's legit just making it, spend cards right now, so you can just trigger a fucking very high house of light for what for what purpose? What does high house of light give him now? A fair trade. I keep forgetting it takes a fate off the ring. Man, fuck, that's so balanced and fair. Oh, but he did have the other so it just though, generates so. a fate. I mean, he knew that he had to let go. Oh. Well, but he's gonna defend your honor, though. There we go. There we go. He's prioritizing the uh, yeah. He's prioritizing these duels for only um, let goes. I like that. I think that's very intelligent. That is, yeah. He's got a plan. <laughs> he's got, see that? That's, that's, how can you beat this deck if you can't kill the attachments, right? Yeah. Even this tranquil can be a tower. He is. He's literally proving to be a tower right now. Okay, so he dishonors the Tranquil Potato. Oh, sorry, um, no, he doesn't. He dishonors uh, Tadakatsu, most likely. He's going to try to duel the Tadakatsu to the death. Well, he also has a... Uh. Yeah, I mean, I think that's fine. <clears throat> uh, can't beat the Tadakatsu, though. He can't duel it to the death. He's he, just going to die if he duels it to the death. He can just high house it if you really feel about like, saving it right now. Yeah, I mean, as soon as the sh as soon as the um, fucking what you call it, the steward comes out, that's when you high house. What? what no, I mean, he can just do it right now. Oh, yeah, you're right. Well, I, I mean, he's lower though, so he can't really do it. And then uh, he can't. He literally can't play duel to death because then his guy's gonna die. Yeah, he's, he's lower. Cutting the ghost, uh, yeah. You're right. yeah. High house just doesn't do anything here. What's his hand? It's it's Gamma Sadane. Yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, the, the only reason well, he would high house it would be to protect himself from Duel to the Death, but he doesn't need to do that, so, yeah, there's no reason. Well, he can game up, he has Game of Sedona in his hand, he has Duel to the Death, he has a Steward. What's his fourth card? It's, I think it's a completely irrelevant card. It's irrelevant as well, but I think it's another new name? No, he has all three on this kind of negotiator. It is. It's so the stew. It's the steward. It's the game of Sedane. It's the duel to the death and a four shame. He got rid of the four shame with. The, oh no! It is a four shame. It, no, no, that was a different conflict. Okay, go, go, go. Okay. Hey, you gonna go for this? It just seems irresponsible.
probably wouldn't have. You might as well use your box here, right? No, I mean, I think you can wait for him to play the, the steward. Because at this point, you're still not... You just bid five. Yeah, that's true. There's no card in his hand. I mean, he could game a Sedane here, and that would be awkward. Okay, yeah, so that's what he's going to do. He's and not going to be... Now you have to. Now you have to high house. Yeah, that's, that's exactly correct. Otherwise, you're going to get fucked. A die straight away, yeah. Okay, high house. High house, Demo. Don't be bad. Oh. Don't be bad. Don't fuck this up, Dima. Five to six now, right? Okay, good. I, Woo, he did it. God. Boys, he did it. <laughs> All right, there we go. <laughs> Moment of tension. <laughs> Your box. Yeah, see, yeah. I, I don't think there was any reason to not do that two actions earlier. He could have just saved himself a load of stress. I mean, yeah, he spent the cards. You could argue that, I guess. I actually think that, that it's fine to make but, him spend all those cards. I mean, now you can't really put this Tranquil into battle. It's a little awkward. Yeah, exactly. That's um, kind of a, well, you can still defend with the Tranquil. You just first act in High House. Um, yeah, 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 you're right. Well, yeah, you can always defend with them. That's fine. And he has enough fate where it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Putting him to two cards is a big deal. And he has 16, and now the big boy comes out. Uh, see, this is fucking perfect. You buy the big and now we're in any season. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is it. Now, big boy showed up. And yeah. he's going to gonna get a season of four. I would season here to get rid of yeah, the... Yeah, you 100% uh, season. You 100% yeah. get rid of these stupid... Um, both, both of these, all these holdings. Oh, so you just fucking get rid of them. Blow. This is, this is actually great. This Beautiful. is wonderful. Oh, and it's another yeah. meat. Yeah, good turn of dynasty <laughs> here. Um, I would actually consider getting. Would you buy anything else here? I get the swordsmith as well, and. I would probably grab the swordsmith. There's not that many. Okay, yeah, he does. Um, he doesn't have that many other things to put on Mitsu, which is unfortunate. I thought the deck he has like one... twenty attachments in it. Uh, but he doesn't have, but it's really only two, three swords that, you know, like, he two duelist trainings on this man and a, a two um, flying katanas is a little awkward. But, you know, you can trigger fire with Mitsu now and not give a fuck and just honor up this tranquil. Yeah. Yeah, way of the dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just double way of the dragon. Yeah. have to be careful because there's still a duel to the death out there. Waiting. There is. And it as can as be. As soon as you put it up, just fucking. Um, dragon tattoo and weight of the dragon would be insane. You're right. Oh, Demagogue with the uh, one bit. Yeah, he's coming at him now. Yeah. Okay, oh. okay. I mean, I agree. I don't super like this. Yes, you make him just go water first ring. Um. No, you, why would the crane choose water? He can't choose water. He choose water. water. Yeah, he can choose water for for demagogue, but. Oh, he's just moved the the fate to the air, right? So he's gonna do. Yeah, he just did that to get. Um. Well, he's not gonna be able to attack it, right? And wow, we he, see the trap. Just like, come at me, bro. Yeah. Well, I mean, in that case, you might have. No, you're just gonna first. He's just gonna first action duel to death. I would probably just attack with the swordsmith here. He commits, and then if he doesn't commit the steward, I would hawk tattoo in the mitsu. Oh, and I think that's exactly what he might do. He is gonna do that. Let's see who he... This is really awkward for him, right? To commit to? Yeah. Double challenger when your second player kind of sucks ass. <laughs> yeah, it does, as it turns out. 
No, he's gonna it's like firing like, a bunch here. <laughs> he's gonna fire. He's gonna fire. This is also this is an awkward. This is an awkward sort of defense here. Yeah. So, dazzling duelist becomes a four-four, which is his ability. Yeah. Now I think that you do hawk tattoo in Mitsu. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. If he, has, if he has a way of the dragon to get this tranquil all the way up to honored, that would be fucking. He does he does have a way of the dragon? He just oh he does. Didn't he just fish it, or was that oh, a dragon okay. tattoo? Oh no no he got dragon tattoo. Sorry sorry. Tattoo. Yeah. My bad. Okay, okay I so like formal this formal. Yeah, this is also good. I like it. You just uh... yeah. Because he's probably still have luckos in your hand, right? Oh no, he's lost two now. Oh, I'm saying Dima probably has luckos. Oh, I see what you're saying, right? Yeah. The voice of honor's consider... turned on. Yeah, it is, and he's used to. Oh, oh no, no! That is the wrong. <laughs> House of Light there, shit. Unless he's got to defend your honor again. He needs exactly to defend your honor now. Oh no, even now he's just gonna get insta He's gonna get he's gonna get yeah, killed yeah, by defend your honor. Yeah. yeah, so this tranquil's gonna die now. Yes. If Although he maneuver there. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. See I I would have just taken this duel to the death when he had the chance with the fucking policy debate because he's had to play around this shit all game. Your honor here. If he has to defend your honor here, this is the time to play it because you can five bid this defend your honor, and if he five and he well, I guess you can one bid to defend your honor, and he has to five bid right. Yeah. Oh, so I think that he does have a defend your honor. Yeah, so he has a defend your honor. He's gonna one bid to the Stazzling Duelists has to five bid, right? Um, and then you can't, then you just high bid the um, duel, to the uh, duel to the death, right? I don't know, this is really cheeky. This is really, really cheeky. It's real mind would, games here. You've got to figure out Emma's going to bid one or five. Bid this, I would one bid this defend your honor and just tank him on honor. Yeah, but then if, if what I'm saying is this Jin Cito reads that play, he's just going to one bid as well. Can't really afford to, right? Because it's his one out. I guess you could also three bid or like two bid or something. I, I would two bid, I, uh, three bid. I guess I would two. I, if if I was if I was demagogue, I would probably two bid. I think that's the right bid. I would probably three bid. Uh, two bid is also fine, actually. Two two's the sweet spot because he. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, he one bids. He one bids, and he. Duel has no effect. Is... Wait, what? Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the Defend Your Honor has no effect. Oh, right. Okay, got you. Okay. Now they're going into the real oh. bid. Now you just two bid this, right? Now you two bid. Now that you've seen the one on the Defend Your Honor, you, you two yeah. bid on the... Yeah, you two bid on the duel to the death. This is... If he gets this duel to the honor, then you hawk tattoo the Mitsu in... And you um, do the air ring. Yeah. Yeah, that's fucking cool. It has, um, it has to be 2 5. I think he's going to try yeah. to solder him out. I think so too. I mean, I think that's yeah. 100%. The I would actually. Yeah. Oh, no, you die before you get the plus one from the... Yeah, you, you instant die, yeah, the second. Also, there, it's a one-time reaction. Yeah. Uh, Jinsio dishonors out instantly. If he one bits, yeah, if he five bits. He can't five bid, so no, five bid, he's yeah. saying he, he was he thought that the dazzling duels would die, so that's yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. he's asking about right now. Uh, okay, got you. 
but he, actually, he realizes I'd that it's it, the other the other character would die. If I was Dima, I would probably buy a bit here. I think so. I think so. Oh, yeah. Two bit. Two bit. I I think you just two bit. Oh, but then you you can get called. Yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah you yeah. probably do five bit here. You probably do five bids. Yeah. Yeah, you because five bit this. Yeah. Yeah. Shoot. I agree. Obviously, noble sack is less interactive, so it's much better than duel to the death. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you see this. What you d you want to avoid horrible things in this game like interaction. It's not <laughs> you don't want to be, you don't want to be interacting with anything. And is interacting with the board, and I am interacting with the board. I like that less than when I am just interacting with the board, and he is not. Yeah. Oh, one to one. Okay. No, that was the worst bid. You, could do. No, you had to two or five there. Okay, never mind. Whatever. And that's a huge. That's huge. Yeah, that's really big. <laughs> that's really, really big. Uh, I think Demigod um, gonna, read that bit wrong. Presented, but I think he's gonna voice. He's yeah. gonna void fist. Oh, he doesn't have any more void fists, right? No, he doesn't have it. Yeah. Now he's going to lose. He, this is this is actually just a massive downward spiral. This is this could be a real turning point in the game that we've just seen here. But he only has two cards, and one of them is a steward, and the other one's a four shame. No, he played yeah. the four shame. The other one is a so new card that, that we have. He also but played yeah. the steward too. So I already played the steward. So we. I actually think this to solo defend this whole. I I, I, don't, I really dis I, that whole last really, conflict was really sloppy. I think. I agree. Yeah. I mean, at least he got the duel to death out of the way, but. Yeah, I guess it's he lost like, a lot. He lost two katanas. He lost a value. Let's just leave it at that. But or you know, honestly, a... like, did Jincito's kind of tapped out? Like, what does he really have? He has a giant board has and two provinces to break. <laughs> That's what he has. He has two cards and four honor. If, if Demagog can survive this turn, he's fine. That's that's the that's the gist. If Demagog cannot survive this turn, he is not fine. Oh, he's got he's got the fucking high house of dank on his box though, so it's probably yeah, fine, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shameful is really farmable with his cunning, actually. Yeah, super farmable. Because he's just gonna, he's just gonna double trigger it. At least he can't trigger box as well. He can't, yeah. he can't double tap. I box. would honestly consider not. Oh, but it doesn't matter because you're just gonna get a Doji Challenger in. Yeah, you just have to defend with both here, and then or defend with um, Mitsu and let him Doji Challenger the other, and then you High House of Dank and hopefully block the last conflict, right? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. That's what I would do as well. It's rough though. Four fate is not a lot. Oh, I would have at least bid two in that but, in that duel. I would have at least bid two two and see how on the ball Jin Cio was. Um, Jasper, he's already he's already discarded two return the offenses and return the offense costs one. Oh, there is that. Oh, he's actually just going to straight... He goes all in. He goes all in. I mean, you may as well, right? Because he's just going to doji challenge you regardless. Yeah. No, I mean, uh, Jin Cito has gone all in. Apart from this steward. So you can, can negotiate there. You can, there we go. Cloud the mind. That's why you want to buy the swordsmith. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's huge. Yeah, that's a real, real clutch play. There. Uh, so now you're shameful to play Cunning and Mitsu. Now you're hoping that he doesn't have the third let go because you're out of cancels. He doesn't have the third let go. We know he doesn't. He has. We know his hand. What is his hand? It's a uh, four shame and. He played that for shame last. Uh, oh shit! Sorry, excuse me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But don't do it again. 
please, please excuse me. Please, please, please just excuse me. If you will. Oh, now this is this is just what we call this is just a good old you know. It's a good old bangerang now, isn't it? <laughs> a bangerang. That's the word I was looking for. It's a playground bangerang. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> things, things are happening. Yeah. Games and story defeat. Um, neither of those are very relevant. I would probably get rid of the games. Yeah. Okay. Games does something. Story defeat doesn't do anything. Mm -hmm. And he finds one point of skill. Does he have one point of political skill in those nine cards? A military. But he really a awkward. He has a dragon tattoo in him. Oh yeah. Man. You just play the dragon. Fine then. Fine. I'm it's funny that he didn't play the dragon to do and then policy debate. I guess he didn't want to get it let go, but that's fair enough. I guess so, but. Why doesn't, yeah. he, dragon... Why doesn't he dragon tattoo and, and hurricane punch here? He doesn't know that there's no let go, Will. Because he doesn't know, he didn't know what the, those two cards were. I mean, he probably Every wants card to save that... the fate for uh, Way of the Dragon. Yeah, that's true. If he has Wear the oh, Dragon here, yeah. he can blow out the game oh, with double well, cards here if he two, wears the dragons. Two four shames have been played. And all three court games. Do you double air here or do you double void? I think I like double void a bit more. Um, this challenger oh, and uh, double void is pretty pretty hot. Yeah, double void is definitely hotter than double air. But then you can just try and honor out next turn. And return to offense. Damn. This is a good well, Actually, double, double, double air takes you to 23 here. <laughs> actually, maybe uh, double air. Who knows? <laughs> well, you can have... Yeah, I mean... <laughs> That's yeah, so this shit. is what you do. This is, this is the line. This is the line. I think, double... that, I, think that double, no, I think double void is the better play. No, 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 no. no. He, wins, he, win, he, win, he wins the game now. He can, win, he can win the game. If he has, uh, he can, he can. Oh, no, no, he's sorry. He's just spent his last fate. Ignore me. He, if, he, if, he, if he had a fate and another cloud, he could trigger a three air ring. Water is also not a bad idea. Because you can, oh, he's going to go the air play. Yeah, uh, he's doing it. So you could... So he gets two okay. air rings, the <laughs> honor, uh, and then what if he had if he had a final fate? What he could have done was cloud his Tadakatsu and just claim the air ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that, that would have been, been, been sweet line. Yeah. yeah, but he didn't have that. You know, at, game, this so. point, at this point, like you cannot attack if you are, you just can't attack um, <laughs> you if have you're. To, you have to, Dear <laughs> Jinsido. Like, that's just not gonna happen. I feel like this is game over now. This is, uh, <laughs> this is super bad. Oh. Um, I mean, you get the water ring, so this, okay. this dazzling. Okay, so you stand the, the DD, the dazzle, the dazzle do. Huh? Do you attack the Get the, the next break. Because all those rings are good. Considering a ring, yeah. break. Uh, yeah, I think you just attack here and then you trigger air ring. Right. Well, that's completely that's right. right. If you attack, you get um, you get to get your keepers. Yeah, you do. He does get to get his keepers. He attacks and then he can just trigger air ring on defense. Um, can you? He already triggered it twice. Yeah, um, I mean next turn. Next, next, next turn, turn, he just wins oh, triggering yeah. air, oh, ring, air ring on box. After this, you just can't attack as Jinsido. Okay, so he does attack. Jinsido, I think, forgot that he's keeper avoid. How many how many keepers is he gonna get? He's gonna get only one. So he's gonna get the third break, but yeah, it's fine. We really don't mind. You'd really don't mind that if you're on twenty three on there. Anyway. Yeah, shameful is the last one, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you shameful breaks and then he just dies on your box. So that's that. Uh, Tadakatsu is a symmetrical effect, which makes him awful. No, because... Um, do you Kageyu here? Kage here? You don't, right? What? Do you into the cunning? He does, okay. 
He's definitely getting the third break now. Yeah, hundred percent. Sorry, defeat. It doesn't super matter. Who do you get rid of here? Uh, probably one of the challenger. Uh, no, I probably get rid of the um the Kaizen. He's got the most stats. Uh, oh. actually, who has the most stats? Is it Kaizen or the Duelist? It's the Duelist. It's a Duelist, I think. Uh, the Duelist, yeah, the Duelist is actually nope. kind of buff. Um, but the Kaizen's yeah. also fine. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, he was supposed to attack. Yeah, he was supposed to attack Midnight Rebels there. Yeah, I agree, Will. Um, the attack, the, the, I would probably have not attacked with, with, um, with anybody. But also, it doesn't super fucking matter because, right. um, Jincito cannot attack. Like, he cannot attack, otherwise Dima wins. Right? Yeah, it's really bad. He can get this last break. Then that's, that's where and he then, And then he's just super duper duper dead. He's dead in like okay. three different ways, next. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because he just, he just, he just uh, defends High House's the Mitsu, because why not? Mm -hmm. okay. I don't even care at that oh, point. You see the dragon tactic over there? Nah, it's not... It doesn't even, it doesn't even matter. Um, because, well, if he attacks, Dima can, um, can just trigger, uh, Mitsu to get an air ring to, yeah. uh, win the game at 25 honor. Yeah, he just honors out. Yeah, Arash, yeah. it's not pronounced Dima, by the way. <laughs> Oh my god, but whatever, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, so you basically just buy this swordsmith with no fate, and that's it. You pass. If <laughs> Neil wanted to pass, wake up at 9 a.m., you know? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what he does. Swordsmith, no fate, absolutely. Fantastic. Then you, then, you, then you pass. Oh, I... I'm actually mad that I didn't get to see you play, because I really like the way that you were playing this deck yesterday. So I didn't even play, so there was no way for me to make the cut. Oh, wait, really you think like about it. Arash, Ar 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 <laughs> think about it. We've all made the cut. Here we are in the top four. <laughs> Guess um, you really think about it. We all made the cut. Okay, let's uh, put this game out of his misery. Demagogue yeah. just needs to spend five cards and trigger Mitsu to win the game. Basically. So let's see how he does that creatively. Yeah. And yeah, we actually talked about it, right? Like, I've been very unmotivated to play Alpha Bar lately. Um, but I'm really excited about this deck archetype. I think that it's cool. Um, it's cool. This is a cool deck. I mean, I'm also, I mean, like, I know, I know. But I got the public to think about. Um, you should have heard him earlier, Neil. He I was know. saying heretic. He was saying heretic instead of heretic. <laughs> um, Some sort of insane person. Yeah. Well, you know, English is my third language. So there's so, uh, that. <laughs> oh, he's doing it. He's just, he's going in on the yeah. fucking, on the fucking box. Right? He, he's just going to win here. Like, Demagogue is just going to win. Let's, let's see how it plays out. Nothing. Yeah, of course. He, it's like, <laughs> but, but the thing is, like, what, if you're, if you're Jinsido, you're fucked if you do, you're fucked if you don't. So you should at least make the line... Like, play the line that's going to win you the game. Yeah, 100%. He can still... No, no. He might have another... Um... He, might, yeah. he might have drawn his other duel to the death. Does that save him here? Does duel to the death save him? No. Unless it's he can kill exactly Mitsu. What you do right here, if you're Dima, is you have to box. Oh, yeah, you have to box here if you're if you're Dima. Otherwise, because you got to because you know he does run at least two duel to the deaths. Because I saw, 
Wait, hold on. Wait, two in his last. He's he's defending with just Mitsu here, and Mitsu has an honor token, so I don't <laughs> think. Okay, so it, doesn't matter. it, doesn't, it literally doesn't even matter. <laughs> okay, fine. All right, cool. All right, that's that. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. That hand is doing well, absolutely nothing. Uh, the where the crane giving the most set. That's two cards that he's played. He needs to play another three. A mantra of fire is a tasty little choice. You see, you knock Tadakatsu, but <laughs> he has his place. You know, mantra of fire is really fucking good. Mantra of fire is legitimately insane. Uh, mantra of water is also good. Um, I think mantra, water and fire are both the two kind of standout man mantras for me. The other two are kind of like, why would you ever play these? Air is okay. I mean, you get honored. It's okay. it's but okay. it's, 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 yeah, it's nothing to write home about. It's fine. Yeah. Um, so he's played... Okay, so he got it. And he can actually trigger it instantly now, right? And yeah. that is it. That is a G to the G. So sweet! Tagashi Mitsu reaches enlightenment once again. He's just so uh, fucking enlightened, dude. Oh. Look at him. He's literally like pulsating with enlightenment. I love this card is really uh, fucking good. The only so, bad thing about this card is the fact that it's named Mitsu. Like if this was you know any I think I, I think I think you just fucking take it on the chin. If you want to play a really cool dragon deck that does new exciting things, then you play this awesome version of Mitsu. Dragon on like, Dragon finals, by the way. I don't think that this has happened since like year one of Oh, do we have um, the final? Hello? Oh, 